In the glittering world of K-pop, fame often comes at a staggering price. This is the tragic tale of Sully, a rising star whose journey through the glitz and glamour of the industry ended in heartbreak. But what led to the downfall of this beloved idol? Was it the relentless pressure to maintain a flawless image, or the dark shadows of mental health struggles lurking behind the stage lights? Join us as we delve into the captivating yet harrowing story of Sully, exploring the untold truths and lingering mysteries that continue to haunt the world of K-pop. In 2009, a bright star emerged in the K-pop world, Sully. She debuted as part of the girl group FX, under the renowned SM Entertainment, the powerhouse of South Korean entertainment. This company has given birth to many iconic artists and groups over the years. However, despite her success, Sully faced challenges. In 2014, she took a break from FX due to stress-related issues. Her decision to openly date rapper Choiza stirred controversy, as relationships among K-pop stars were often discouraged to maintain their allure to fans. This backlash intensified when SM Entertainment announced Sully's departure from FX in 2015, allowing her to focus on acting. Some media outlets even likened her to Kim Kardashian, a comparison that didn't sit well with everyone. Sully ventured into acting, but her career faced setbacks. In 2017, rumors swirled around her role in the movie, Real, where she played a rehab therapist. Some speculated she had first-hand experience with narcotics, which caused further scrutiny. In 2018, Sully opened up about her struggles with mental health, revealing panic disorder and social phobia. Despite her openness, she continued to face criticism online. Amidst personal and professional challenges, Sully found herself in the midst of a societal shift. In 2019, South Korea's constitutional court ruled against the country's strict abortion laws, a decision Sully celebrated publicly. However, her stance polarized opinions, with some praising her activism while others criticized her. On June 11, Sully embarked on a unique endeavor, co-hosting The Night of Hate Comments, a talk show confronting the malicious remarks targeted at celebrities. In its inaugural episode, she fearlessly addressed criticisms, including backlash for going braless, advocating for acceptance of individual differences. She emphasized South Korea's diverse talents, urging against wasting energy on critiques. Later, on June 29, Sully made her solo debut as a musician with the single, Goblin. The music video depicted a character with dissociative disorder, a portrayal shedding light on mental health issues, still largely taboo in Korean society. Tragically, on October 14, Sully, born Choi Jin Ri, was discovered unconscious in her home, aged just 25. The police found no signs of foul play, but discovered handwritten notes expressing her innermost thoughts. While the contents were not disclosed, her passing prompted widespread mourning and calls to address mental health within the industry. Sully's untimely death brought scrutiny upon the dark side of the K-pop industry, highlighting the toxicity of fandom culture. The Guardian reported on October 18 that Sully's case underscored the failure of management agencies to shield stars from online harassment and noted a disturbing trend of suicides among K-pop stars and celebrities. The tragedy echoed the accounts of past figures like actress Zhang Jae-yoon and Chinese Kim Jong-hyun, who lamented mistreatment and mental health struggles within the industry. Their stories underscored the urgent need for reform and greater accountability. Shiny faced its own struggles. Jong Yun expressed deep anguish in his personal writings, feeling responsible for his own pain and inadequacies. His words revealed the internal battles endured by many within the industry. On October 20th, Nusis, a South Korean news agency, shed light on the systemic misogyny pervasive in Korean society, suggesting it as a contributing factor to Sully's tragic passing. Professor Yoon Kim Ji Yoon, from the Institute of Body Culture Research at Kangkuk University, pointed out that Sully's defiance of societal norms, such as her advocacy for bralessness, was perceived as a challenge to male authority, resulting in harsh backlash. The Korean Federation of Trade Unions offered rare solidarity, recognizing Sully as a fellow warrior against misogyny. This acknowledgement underscores the societal significance of her activism. Pastor Kim Hyung Kook shared a poignant encounter with Sully, revealing her previous suicide attempt and his attempt to provide solace. His efforts, while well-intentioned, highlight the complexities of addressing mental health struggles within a society still grappling with stigmatization. Sully's struggles shed light on the harsh realities faced by many within the K-pop industry. 
Despite her fame, she grappled with the lack of protection and support for her private life. South Korea's culture minister, Park Yang-woo, expressed deep regret over her tragedy, pledging to implement measures to safeguard the privacy of individuals. The financial strain on aspiring stars is glaring. Many struggle to make ends meet despite appearances on TV and radio shows. Gray, another rapper, emphasized the financial burden of debuting, with earnings often dwindling after splitting among group members and covering various expenses. The reality is stark. Despite their talents and efforts, many aspiring stars face exploitation and financial hardship within the K-pop industry. It's alarming to learn that even big-name artists face constraints from their agencies, as highlighted by restrictions on revenue from YouTube videos. Despite their fame, some top stars struggle financially, with reports suggesting meager earnings and exploitative contracts. Former actress Yoon Yoonji's account underscores the exploitation rampant in the industry. Her meager monthly income and the prohibition from seeking additional employment reflect the control exerted by CEOs, prioritizing their own interests over the well-being of their artists. Moreover, the disturbing practice of sending young talents to meet influential individuals for unclear purposes raises serious ethical concerns. The testimony of Yoon Ji-ho sheds light on the murky world of sponsorship in the entertainment industry. Sponsors, often wealthy individuals, wield significant influence by providing financial support in exchange for favors. Reports of sponsor lists, detailing stars and their respective prices underscore the commodification of talent, with implications for the integrity and autonomy of artists. Sully's final interview poignantly captures her growing awareness of the industry's harsh realities. The feeling of being trapped in a horror movie tells us the psychological toll of navigating fame within a system fraught with exploitation and manipulation. Sully's candid admission of feeling unheard and isolated underscores a pervasive issue, the failure of those around her to respond to her cries for help. Jung Eun Ji's testimony in Zhang Gi Yung's case unveils disturbing allegations of potential sabotage and the lack of protection for artists facing threats to their safety. Yoonji's harrowing experiences, including serious car accidents and the failure of emergency response systems, highlight the perilous realities faced by vulnerable individuals in the industry. Brian Ju's revelation of battling depression and encountering harassment from a persistent stalker underscores the mental health challenges endured by celebrities. His desperate plea for assistance underscores the urgent need for effective support mechanisms to safeguard the well-being of artists. Efforts must be made to create a culture of support, compassion, and accountability to prevent further tragedies and ensure the welfare of all involved. Park Jong Seok, head psychiatrist at Yonsei Bomb Psychiatry, underscores the toll of living in the public eye for celebrities. The constant scrutiny and pressure can lead to a range of mental health challenges, including lack of confidence, emotional instability, and obsessive behavior. Moreover, the relentless pursuit of success in a fiercely competitive industry can exacerbate feelings of inferiority and isolation. Dr. Kim Hyung Soo, a psychologist and professor at Chosun University, highlights the broader mental health crisis in South Korea, where stress and depression rates are alarmingly high. He attributes a significant portion of tragedies, like Sully's, to untreated depression. Emma Kalka, the editor-in-chief of Groove Korea, emphasizes the stigma surrounding mental health issues in South Korea, where seeking therapy is often viewed as taboo. The fear of repercussions from companies discourages many from seeking professional help, leading to a lack of support for struggling individuals. K-pop's immense global success has significantly enriched South Korea's economy, with industry revenue reaching record highs. However, this prosperity has come at a cost, with numerous stars sharing heartbreaking experiences and tragedies, earning the industry the grim name of real-life Hunger Games. It's evident that the time has come for government and industry officials to prioritize the well-being of their stars. Despite their contributions to elevating South Korea's global reputation, many celebrities continue to suffer in silence, underscoring the urgent need for systemic change and greater support for mental health within the entertainment industry.